Hi, welcome to Future History. We're remembering the next 100 years. In 2023, you figured out that you could directly apply electrical current to the root systems of baby plants to make them grow more. So researchers at the Linköping University in Sweden applied zappies to the roots of barley plants and they got 50% more growth out of these plants. They got bigger than they would have otherwise. And they did this using a substrate of half cellulose and half electrically conductive polymer material. Cellulose is extremely common and this electrically conductive polymer material is also not rare. So it's easy to source, it's cheap, it's viable as a large commercial option. Uh, and they demonstrated that just zapping these plants could make them grow more. They didn't figure out why, but obviously this is a good step, was a good step toward big vertical farm operations. In the late 2020s, you can expect to see those starting to blossom. 2030s, you're seeing some really big scale hydroponic operations and also some more efficient local and even home operations for hydroponic gardening options. You can bet your bippy that you'll be applying direct electrical currents to your home hydroponic gardens to make things grow faster and bigger in your home. Uh, by the 30s and 40s, this is getting to be big business. 50s, 60s, these large hydroponic farms are starting to take significant market share from the old model of just ground and sky, especially because you can control so much more of a hydroponic farm operation. You don't have to worry about pests. You don't have to muck about with pesticides as a result. You can get healthier produce you can get it faster. You can grow it more locally uh, and therefore reduce shipping costs. So there are all sorts of knock on benefits to doing farming in vertical structures and in contained structures. But there is a punishing trade off in the electricity cost cost of running these operations because obviously solar energy is just free if you've got plants outside they're receiving the sun so you will be in the next decade or two going through sort of a process of cost benefit uh, as the cost benefit of uh, hydroponics gets better it will take more market share and eventually actual land from the old agricultural model of just planting things in the dirt and hoping for the best uh, by the 50s and 60s you're looking at very big scale hydroponic farms, vertical farms all, all over the country and all over the world, and also very efficient home models and commercial models so grocery stores can grow their own uh, produce fresh on site and you could grow your own fresh at home uh, fairly quickly and fairly healthily. And then by the back end of the century, some of this is sort of tapering away as food becomes a little bit less important and direct energy becomes a bigger part of the mix for bioelectrical life forms. And that takes you into the 22nd century where things are getting quite weird anyway. Uh, but as uh, an overall contributor to the food of humans on the planet and even to many non-humans uh, who like to eat food as well. The electrical simulation of root systems is going to be a boon for your understanding of farming technology. All right, thanks, bye.